For the last few years, our family has been making these fun yard decorations. The first four are Halloween decorations that we set out around trick-or-treat time. The second set are combination scarecrow snowmen that we set out in the fall showing the scarecrows and then when it gets a little colder, we turn them around to show the snowmen. Since 4th of July is coming up, I wanted to add a character that had more of a patriotic theme. I've always liked the Captain America character from Marvel Comics. I've really enjoyed watching The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, where Sam Wilson takes over the mantle or shield of Captain America. These yard decorations are made out of inexpensive one by pine material from Menards. My first step is to cut things down the size and prepare the pieces for assembly. With the parts cut to size and laid out in a mock-up, I draw a circle representing the shield and I make marks representing where to cut the biscuit slots. I have a circle cutting attachment for my bandsaw. I've never used it and I figured this is a good project to try it out on, but I gotta take a close look at these instructions first. Cutting on the bandsaw starts out smoothly, but the blade quickly goes off track of the circle. I didn't set up the bandsaw correctly, so I've got to take a break, fix that, and then get back to cutting. The rest of the cut goes fairly smoothly, and I'm pretty happy with the results. Here, I'm correcting the mistake I made on the bandsaw with a little bit of wood putty and glue. I've got my biscuit joiner attachment set up and ready to use. So I go ahead and make all the cuts I need. This is the first time I've ever used biscuit joinery. Normally I rely on dowels, but I like this method fairly well. I'm just not certain if I like it better than Dow Joiner. Applying glue goes fairly smoothly, but applying the clamps turns into a little bit of a mess. I do have to fuss with the clamps quite a bit before I'm happy with the way things are clamped together. I thoroughly sand both sides with 80 and 150 grit sandpaper.
For craft projects like this, I like to use whatever is left over around the house. So for the white, I'm using leftover cabinet and trim paint. Here I've used dark brown writ dye for the skin tone, and now I'm applying dark brown writ dye plus black writ dye for the hair color. I just mix these up with a little bit of denatured alcohol and dab them on with a sponge. I like the way the dye allows the wood grain to show through, as opposed to paint, which would be totally solid and look less natural. I've masked off some key areas and made two star stencils. Now I'm ready to start painting the blue. With three coats of blue paint on, I'm ready to mask off and begin painting the red. With three coats of red paint on, I'm masking off for the belt and gloves. Here, I mix a little dark brown writ dye in with the red paint to give it that leathery look. I take the project outside and apply three coats of spar urethane to both sides. And now, the big reveal. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I'm not the world's best painter, and there are some squiggly lines here and there, but it looks really good in my opinion. I really like the strong, patriotic, red, white, and blue theme of this character. And I also like the patriotic theme of the character's story. So I'm very happy to add this yard decoration to our collection, and I'm looking forward to placing it in the front yard this coming 4th of July weekend. I want to wish you all a happy 4th of July, and thank you for making this video part of your 4th of July celebrations. 